Hello, dear friends. How are you? I hope you all are safe. Okay. So, in uh, last lecture only we saw uh, whatever oxides of nitrogen and so many things we discuss. Okay. In that uh, preparation of uh, some important compounds of nitrogen, your dinitrogen, then ammonia. Okay. Now today we will discuss about what oxides of nitrogen we already discussed. Okay. Now we will see in today's lecture some reactions. Okay. So these are generally important. Uh, like that uh, they may ask what will happen when lead nitrate is heated. What beta? What will happen when lead nitrate, PbNO3 twice, lead nitrate when heated? Okay, it is already better over this reaction. Uh, when your uh, lead nitrate is heated, what will happen? You saw this reaction in uh, your P block elements. When beta, your P block elements. Okay. So, he say here, what, is, what will be the possibility of product? Yes, PBO, okay, lead oxide, then NO2 plus O2, it will release, okay. So, you must know this thing, uh, what will happen when your lead nitrate is heated, okay. And that nitrogen oxide, it dimerize, okay, and dimerize produces what? N2O4. So, like that uh, possibility of question, and right, it's one of the frequently asked question. okay. And uh, you may balance this reaction as like this, so say here, 2 rain, okay. So, how many are here, 4, so like that uh, you can balance, okay. Now, one thing here you must know, one re reversible reaction, that is, when you are in 2, 4, okay. N2O4 is subject to reversible, then you will get what? 2NO2. Okay. So, here what your color is, and here what? What will be the color here? Brown. Okay. So, these are what uh, we can write here. Uh, we discuss here some reactions. Okay. With uh, nitrate. Now, say, now we will discuss important thing, no doubt, whatever I am teaching is all are important only, okay. So say, the molecular and Lewis dot resonance structures of oxides of nitrogen. What we do, you mention, say, the molecular and the molecular and Lewis dot structure of, of oxides of nitrogen. Oxides of, yes, oxides of nitrogen. Okay. So, we will discuss uh, whatever molecular and Lewis dot structures of oxides of nitrogen. So, we will here discuss one by one. If you are taking as a first, that is N2O. Okay. N2O. N2 is what? Nitrous oxide. Nitrous oxide. Now, what will be the structure of this? So, see here, uh, structure of this. So, as you know, whenever uh, you are calculating the structure of uh, nitrogen containing compound okay or uh, whenever you are calculating whenever you are uh, calculating resonance or Lewis dot structure of any oxide of anything at that time we need to add their valence electrons okay suppose here as you know skeletal of this and that is into okay. now you must know here Valence electrons of here nitrogen is 5. Okay, here also nitrogen 5 and here what 6. So, see here 5 plus 5, 10 plus 6, 16. So, whatever in your structure, total 16 electrons must be present. Then and then only. 
एब्सोल्युटली युअर व्हाट एव्हर स्ट्रक्चर इज करेक्ट ठीक आहे सो व्हॉट एव्हर आय रोड इट इज स्केलेड स्ट्रक्चर बट एव्हरी टाइम यू हॅव टू डू यू हॅव टू क्रॉस चेक विथ देअर आउटर मोस्ट सेल इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ऍडिशन ओके अँड दॅट मच इलेक्ट्रॉन मस्ट बी प्रेझेंट इन युअर दिस लेविस ड्रॉट स्ट्रक्चर देन अँड देन ओनली व्हॉट व्हॉट एव्हर यू आर राईटिंग the structure of anything it is correct so see here uh, and the skeletal structure has like this here a negative charge okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 this with negative charge okay oxygen how much 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay now we can hear uh, what these are what your structure of your n2o okay so now we can calculate whether it is 16 electrons are there or not say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 so our structure is what correct now we can write the determinant structure of this also we have like this this negative charge on this is a in an h so here form of this shape so you will get a structure as like this say one of the lone pair we use so n double bond n here with the positive charge so here what 1 2 3 4 5 6 with the negative charge i hope you understood and shape we can write as a here what beta linear the shape is what linear okay now suppose aap abhi baat kare nitric oxide what beta nitric oxide so secondly uh, we will think on nitric oxide nitric oxide so see here what will happen in the case of your nitric oxide as like this uh, these are what skeletal structure n and o so as you know valence electrons of nitrogen here five and valence electron on of, of oxygen how much 6 so 5 plus 6 11 dk okay. means say 1 2 3 4 5 6 this six electrons goes to your oxygen now on of nitrogen 1 2 3 4 5 so it will be in this what you are yes double bond Now here uh, one odd electron. So next structure where it will go on oxygen. Okay. So like this. One, two, three, four. Okay. As like this. Understood. So these are we can say. Yes. These are we can say what. Ah, uh, you are. Yes. You are a resonating structure. Okay. we can separate this with uh, what we can separate this with charges also here beta negative and here what positive so so this are for it is your dimer of it this is known is what dimer of no okay i hope you understood this so we can write like this how we can represent dimer of you know n o n o like this okay now suppose if you are thinking about uh, whatever next structure so pay attention on this next third see here third n2 o3 dinitrogen trioxide n2 o3 what beta is dinitrogen trioxide so see here how we can write here see the skeletal structure first in okay as like this so here here also what you must know whatever valence electron addition of valence electrons and you may cross check uh, whatever structure okay so in 2 3 is here suppose i will write double bond here means 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay and here what beta 
Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oxygen is here fulfilled. Okay. Now see what about this oxygen? One, two, three, four, five, six with a negative electron. So negative means here what? Obviously positive. Okay. Now whenever I have to, I have to write the what resonant structures. I will do. Yes, this negative charge forming bond between this N and O. This electron will shift. Okay. So I can write like this. N I hope you wrote this all and uh, you understood this all contained. Now we will discuss fourth. Next, uh, uh, you can write. Okay. Video thoughts karun hai tumala liyai say carefully. Okay. So see here. Uh, we will write uh, next. See. Next few structures of oxides of what beta? Yes, nitrogen. Oxides of nitrogen. So say here NO2. Fourth. Yes, NO2. So as like this NO2, we can mention. See here, we can draw like this also, means angular way also. Say N. Okay, first you can calculate the uh, valence electron addition as like this pi u at this 6. 6, 6, 12 plus this 5. So, total how much? 17 electrons must be there in your structure. Then and then only that structure is effective. Okay, so see here 1, okay, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, nitrogen 5 valence electrons you give. What about oxygen? See, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, yes. For this oxygen, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay. You gave. So, 6, 6, 5, plus 6, 5. Okay, now here what? We need to join this. Means what? Doubly bonded here. But uh, octet of this nitrogen is not completing. That's why nitrogen is known that shifting towards what shifting towards oxygen understood in you will get the structure like this see and with this odd electron okay suppose if you keep as it is the nitrogen shift this lone pair of electron to oxygen okay after shifting this lone pair of electron toward oxygen this electron shift here a positive charge. I hope you understood this. Now, see the resonating structure as like this. This negative charge forming bond between this O and N and this bond will shift and you will get what? Yes, you will get as like this. I hope you understood this. I hope you understood this. Bida. Uh, you have to write carefully. Okay. So, this also what but a planar. Sorry, this planar not angular. We can write like this also. In, okay. We can write like this also. No issue. Okay. Angular. I hope you understood this. Okay. Now suppose uh, next we will discuss that is N two O four. See here. N two O four. This what be the nitrogen dioxide. You can write name. What here? Nitrogen. Yes. Dioxide. Here what? Yes. 
the dinitrogen tetraoxide ठीक है now see here whatever i told uh, how your no2 is dimerized or we can say why no2 dimerize why no2 dimerize because of presence of odd electron because of presence of odd electrons your no2 dimerize and forming what yes forming n2o4 okay so see carefully beta okay baga see same with the help of that only uh, we can write easily so see here uh, you are this n okay with this your oxygen okay here you are doubly bonded okay now you are another no2 as like this okay of uh, suppose i will write now what you will get here yes compare this this whatever unpaired electrons forming a bond between this n and n and you will get what like this structure n2o4 what how beta yes n2o4 okay these are what you are togetherly what we call it as n2o4 so we can mention uh, we can write here Resonance of this, see here, as like this, we can show resonance. Okay, now here this sigma electron, whatever this negative electron forming bond between this O and N, so this electron will shift. Okay, understood. And this also here it will occur. Okay. now what you will get yes this electron also will shift as like this and you will get what n double bond to 1 2 3 4 5 6 with negative charge n your word o as like this okay i hope you understood this 1 2 3 4 okay the shoot the resonance of this n2 o is n2 o okay now uh, one more here remain that is n2 o5 what beta n2 o5 so that also we can mention here i will draw here structure say sixth one n2 o5 that is dinitrogen pentoxide dinitrogen pentoxide so see here i am writing here what skeletal structure you have to do as like this skeletal structure okay understood okay n2 o4 understood so what will happen next is you can mention whatever this uh negative electron they are forming bond between this this electron will shift here whatever here negative electron the bond between bond a and no this uh, bond will shift then you can write now easily you have to write this okay i hope you understood this all the structures of what beta oxides of nitrogen carefully theek okay. hai concentrate on this now we will discuss next point okay be ready with the next point this six structure must be present okay you have to share your notes of pdf of notes okay everyone it's compulsory to share pdf of notes everyone okay and you have to share doubts also 
Now, next compounds of nitrogen we will discuss here. That is nitric acid. What beta? Yes. Nitric acid. So, as you know, nitric acid is what? Your HNO3. Okay. Now, see here. Uh, what will be the laboratory preparation of this nitric acid? We will discuss. Say. When sodium, this word beta sodium nitrate, when sodium nitrate is treated with sulfuric acid, then you will get what? Yes, you will get. Yes, you will get what? HNO3. HNO3 plus what will remain? NH SO4 that is sodium bisulfate. Sodium bisulfate. I hope you understood this thing. Okay. Now we will discuss manufacture of nitric acid. Actual how manufactured. See manufacture or manufacturing of HNO3. Okay. In the manufacture of my HNO3, it is manufactured by commercially manufactured by Ostwald process. What beta? Ostwald process. Like uh, we saw uh, manufacture of ammonia, uh, what? Haber process. So here what? Ostwald process. Okay. These are commercial industrial method for the preparation of these acids okay or uh, whatever that ammonia say now first uh, in this ostwald process what we have to do it is prepared by catalytic oxidation of catalytic oxidation we have to do of ammonia catalytic oxidation of ammonia with the help of atmospheric oxygen Okay, so say catalytic oxidation means what? Uh, on the surface of catalyst, either that catalyst, so it is of platinum, it is of rhodium, okay, under what uh, temperature and uh, controlled pressure. So, how much that we will discuss here? So, say here reaction 4 NH3, I will write uh, with the help of balance reaction. So, 5O2 gaseous. So see here what will be the condition, that condition is important, uh, catalytic, catalytic oxidation on the metal surface, so platinum or either rhodium, okay, at 500 Kelvin and 9 bar pressure, 9 bar pressure and you will get what here, yes, you will get 4 in nitric oxide plus Okay. We are balanced. Okay. The difficulty arises during balancing. Okay. You can share uh, that particular doubts. Okay. Now see here. Uh, uh, what will happen? Whatever this nitric oxide, it is further oxidized, and further oxidation it gives what NO2 gases. So see here. When your this nitric oxide is further oxidized and you will get what? Yes, you will get NO2. So, beta, uh, you can balance here. So, here 2 in. Okay, yes, our reaction is balanced. Okay. Carefully, you must know this process. Now, whatever this nitrogen dioxide, it is formed here in second step. It is dissolved in water, forming what? To give the nitric acid, to give what? Nitric acid. So, see here, whatever this NO2 gaseous, beta, when dissolved in water, okay, then you will get what? HNO3, take a aqueous plus along with NO, nitric, nitric oxide gaseous, okay. So, 3 here is 2. Our reaction is balance. 
ठीक है यू मस्ट नो दिस ऑल इम्पॉर्टेंट रिएक्शन ठीक है नाउ आफ्टर दिस वी विल डिस्कस सम इम्पॉर्टेंट प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ प्योर नाइट्रिक एसिड आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड दिस ऑल पुष्टवाइल प्रोसेस फॉर द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ऑफ फॉर द कमर्शियल मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ऑफ दिस एसिड ठीक है नाउ बेटा वी विल डिस्कस से discuss about physical properties we can write as a what properties of hno3 so first important property regarding your hno3 is what whatever laboratory grade nitric acid okay laboratory grade in nitric acid contains 68% of nitric acid How much beta? Sixty-eight percent of nitric acid by mass. Yes. Laboratory reagent, or we can say laboratory grade nitric acid. How much? Sixty-eight percent HNO three by mass. So sixty-eight percent HNO three by mass. Mass means what? Sixty-eight gram of Your HNO3 plus beta 32 gram of water. 32 gram of water. I hope you understood this thing. And its specific gravity near about 1.504. ठीक है. Now whatever uh, suppose if you are thinking about another property, the impure acid is generally yellow. to the presence of nitrogen dioxide in them okay impure acid generally yellow theek okay. hai and nitric acid containing so one more here remarkable property is what nitric acid contains what nitric acid contains dissolve dissolve what beta nitrogen dioxide dissolve nitrogen dioxide it's called as it's called as fuming nitric acid it's called as fuming is fuming nitric acid take okay. a now what will happen when your nitric acid suppose if you are thinking third when your nitric acid hno3 aqueous when it dissolve in h2o that is water liquid so what will happen as you know here hno3 is your acid and your water they act as a base so acid is a property what donate h plus ions and become what h3o plus h2o plus is what hydronium ion plus nitrate ion they are giving us और बेटा नाइट्रेट आयन अंडरस्टूड ठीक है आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड यू नीड टू राइट दिस ऑल प्रॉपर्टी करेक्टली इन योर नोटबुक ठीक है एंड विदाउट हेजिटेशन यू हैव टू शेयर योर डाउट्स बिकॉज़ वन वन टॉपिक हियर वी हैव टू क्लियर ओके from uh, we are dealing with inorganic chemistry okay and here in crt role also crucial okay so we will discuss here some reactions okay with uh, nitric acid we can say with the dilute nitric acid and with the concentrated nitric acid also with the metals okay so we will discuss that reactions see about your or we can say as a chemical properties chemical properties of nitric acid or chemical reactions of nitric acid okay once we prepare preparation over then we are moving towards what 
hydric acid cr when your metal action on metal so of your nitric acid whether it is dilute whether it is concentrated okay so see here first we will discuss when your hg mercury when treated with hno3 and that hno3 is what con that is concentrated and you must know here when your concentrated acid is there there what by product so one thing here you keep in mind whenever uh, you are writing the inorganic reaction you must know their main product with the by product okay organic madhe asa kai nahi hai ki tumhala by product lehyachi garaj hai but inorganic chemistry madhe tumhala by product lehna sta important hai with that balance chemical reaction okay organic madhe by product nahi lehla tari chalta theek hai but here you must write by product also with a balanced chemical equation okay so see here mainly what you will get is hg no3 twice okay that day we will write name of that is mercuric nitrate okay plus no2 plus o2 okay now you need to balance this okay no3 twice so here what 4 no3 4 so here what 2 yes automatically it will balance here what 2 no2 i think yes 2 no2 and here what yes 2 h2o not beta here uh, o2 sorry here what beta h2o as a by product theek okay. hai mercury nitrate in this by product okay you need to see the all this whatever main product with the help of by product also second when your hg is treated with dilute hno3 now what will be the possibility of possibility of products with the by products okay so we will concentrate on say you will get here you you got mercuric nitrate but at the time of concentrated not dilute hno3 you will get what mercurous nitrate hg2no3 twice okay plus no plus h2 these are what your by products are there okay i hope you understood uh, this mercurous mercurous nitrate now you tell me what will be the difference between mercuric and mercurous okay so beta mercuric means a g plus 2 always and when mercurous at that time hg plus 1 keep in mind like a cuprous cu plus 1 cupric cu2 plus understood so it is applicable to your all metals keep in mind is important thing okay now suppose if you are thinking about your another metal how it will react third suppose ag plus okay ag plus hno3 we are taking concentrated and that is you know hno3 what concentrated and you will get the product what as like this instead of ag here what ag ag no3 plus no2 plus h2o okay take okay. so you can balance beta is only i think uh, hydrogen we need to balance that is to everything it is balance other all okay now same reaction we can do with dilute also say for hg plus hno3 dilute so here what only by product will change A G N O three plus N O plus what beta 
H2O. Okay. Now here what? 2H2O. Other I think all balance. You may cross check. You have to cross check and uh, share your doubts. Okay. We need to balance this all. ओके इका जे रिएक्शन जर का बॅलन्स करायचे राहिले असेल तर ते तुम्ही बेटा बॅलन्स करायचे ठीक आहे नाउ सी हियर वी विल डिस्कस नेक्स्ट हियर आई ऑलरेडी दे गिव इन एनसीईआरडी नाउ हियर योर वर्क इज व्हाट बेटा इन दैट स्ट्रिक्टली यू हैव टू right uh, in continuation manner whatever reaction of copper with both hno3 dilute and hno3 concentrated with copper like that you have to do what yes copper then uh, with uh, zinc you have to do okay it is ncid very much important reaction the should you have to write in continuous manner with copper when dilute hno3 what will happen and uh, with hno3 con hno3 what will happen like that zinc with dilute and both concentrated you have to write reaction in your notes okay with the help of ncert okay now see here as you know uh, noble metals okay so noble metals which are those noble metals are there gold platinum okay are not attacked by nitric acid okay but these were attacked by what aquaregia so aquaregia i think you heard in 10th standard okay and uh, composition of aquaregia so see here aquaregia composition is what one part of hno3 plus three part of hcl both are must be in concentrated condition it is a condition of what or we can say composition of your aquaregia one part your hno3 and three part of your hcl okay now see uh, what will be the reaction among this hno3 and hcl so see here hno3 plus this hcl beta what will happen you will get here no cl that is we call it as a nitrocl nitrocl chloride also we can write plus 2h2 plus here what 2 cl so we can write as a free chlorine what beta free chlorine okay for balancing you need to balance this reaction okay now how it will dissolve your gold and this platinum when your gold au it will react with chlorine that is free radical chlorine free radical it will what au cl3 like that platinum plus 4 cl because pt cl4 with the help of oxidation number with the help of that stable binary compound you will get products uh, okay you will get products correctly understood now here one more important sentence you can mention uh, you can write in your notebook chromium and aluminum does not dissolve in concentrated nitric acid okay chromium and what aluminum so why it is like this because yes because what happen because on this metal there is a oxide layer on the surface of metal there is what oxide layer is present therefore therefore what it will not dissolve in your 
whatever aquaregia okay now here we will discuss uh, some another also chemical reaction of uh, metal with nitric acid okay we already done this uh, copper zinc okay then your hg ag now we discuss with the noble metals also okay non reactive metals now uh, we will discuss about their what about their non metals how your non metals also reacts with nitric acid and they are giving us variety of products and by products okay so concentrate on so as you know whatever your nitric acid behaves as a what strong acid agent oxidizing agent it has a tendency to give what nascent oxygen and that nascent oxygen is what powerful it has a powerful oxidizing property okay so see here okay so we will discuss about uh, what will happen when your nitric acid reacts with your non metal okay baga so before that uh, you must mention see suppose if you are discussing of first nitric acid nitric acid oxidizes oxidizes sulfur to sulfur to what beta sulfuric acid sulfur to sulfuric acid as like this means as you know sulfur it is ncrd given reaction okay we need to balance this okay we can write directly also means in a theory dark exam they will give like this only they will give reactant and they will give question mark understood okay then you need to decide what will be the products and what will be the by product okay so see here as i already told what your sulfur is oxidizes to what sulfuric acid so see here s h h n o 3 you will get what h 2 h o 4 plus n o 2 plus what beta h 2 o we can balance easily so see here we can balance we can write direct also so see here take a you can cross check with this reaction whatever is stoichiometric coefficients of your reactant as well as product take okay, you can cross check beta is 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 it are there okay understood now see the next next now your nitric acid oxidizes see nitric acid oxidizes carbon to carbon to what be the carbonic acid carbon to carbonic acid so see here carbon plus hno3 so what will happen yes h2co3 plus what your no2 plus h2 so uh, from this above reaction you will come to know here one thing what beta yes that is by products are always here no2 and h2 whenever your metal or either uh, non metals are reacting but uh, during concentrated what beta during concentrated it will some vary uh, somewhere what no as a by product no plus h2 and somewhere what h no2 and h2 okay understood so this thing you have to keep in mind okay so beta we can balance here or we can you can cross check also this reaction when your whatever your nitric acid it has a tendency to oxidize carbon to carbonic acid now we will discuss about your another non metal third in that also you can write nitric acid oxidizes phosphorus to phosphoric acid 
phosphorus so molecular formula of phosphorus uh, you have to write okay so what will be the molecular formula p4 as like this so see here whatever this p4 plus hno3 dk then you will get what we gave already your phosphorus is oxidized to what your phosphorus oxidized to phosphoric acid now here also what a no2 plus h2o okay so here you will get how much 20 here also 20 on balancing you can better cross check and you can share your views also okay now fourth we will discuss about fourth iodine also so see here iodine is, is oxidizes to what per iodic acid okay so per iodic acid see here with i2 plus what be done hno3 it will give what per iodic acid that is hio3 per see here iodic acid only okay so uh, it is uh, it will come whatever this acid it will come in our 17 group halogen family okay per iodic acid plus what we done yes your no2 plus h2o so you can balance this okay you have to balance if any doubt will come you can share okay so these are what these are what when you are whatever this acid okay whatever this acid nitric acid will react with non metal part okay now uh, your this nitric acid has the capacity to convert ferrous sulfate into ferric sulfate also okay ferrous sulfate into ferric sulfate so ferrous sulfate as you know what feso4 and ferric is what fe2so4 thrice okay understood so it is all about your reaction spite chemical reaction spite okay and whatever this reaction in never chain whatever their balance stoichiometric coefficient stoichiometric coefficient means what whatever number uh, for we are using for balancing the reaction either it is of 3 2 4 we call it as a what yes we call it as a stoichiometric coefficient okay so concentrate on this now structures structure of nitric acid so how it looks here structure so see here structure of nitric acid see here in the structure of nitric acid i think you already uh, done this structure of uh, what beta is yes, structure of nitric acid so concentrate on the structure of nitric acid here their skeletal structure as like this h o n okay so here what 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 5 6 as like this okay you can whatever i told you can cross check this with valence electrons okay understood valence electron also so one plus five plus how much 18 so how much beta total one of one valence electron one of your hydrogen then nitrogen how much five then what about your oxygen it's six so three are there 18 so 18 plus 5 23 plus 24 electrons so can we calculate here see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 okay 17 18 19 20 21 22 
23 and 24 understood so whatever we draw the structure it is correct so you must know whatever nitric acid okay okay your nitrogen this oxide also complete this oxygen oxide also complete everything hydrogen duplet also complete okay now suppose uh, we will discuss about your nitride ion structure of nitride ion uh, with their resonating structure so see here beta how we can draw this okay how we can draw this see whatever this nitrogen atom okay as like this uh, we will show beta here support doubly bonded okay here what oxygen 1 2 3 4 5 6 with negative charge these are what your nitride ion 2 3 4 5 6 with negative charge so nitrogen also octated completed here what with a positive so it has a tendency to form bond between here also and here also so like that three resulting structures you will get here okay nitrate ion that is no3 minus means here we are calculating with the help of valence electrons so we can cross check whatever no3 minus okay this what pull mila ke ye kya hua no3 minus okay understood so these are all about your structure of no3 minus then your what nitric acid okay now here after this this is one of the important part regarding your nitride ion that is brown ring test for nitride ion okay what we do brown ring test we will discuss so pay attention on this okay brown ring test see you can write brown ring test brown ring test for for no3 minus okay brown ring test for no3 minus so in short first i will uh, give some idea about this uh, whatever brown ring test so carefully are uh, you listen this first we are uh, dealing this we are doing this in a chemistry laboratory easily okay so for that we need two test tubes okay in one test tube we want what freshly prepared freshly prepared fso4 solution okay we want what freshly prepared solution of fso4 and in another test tube we want okay here either sodium nitrate also you can take what beta sodium nitrate in another test tube okay by the availability of any nitrate sodium nitrate and these are also what yes freshly prepared freshly prepared here we want fso4 solution here what nano3 solution so here we have to mix these two solutions okay we have to mix these two solutions okay here about this much mark uh, you will get both of this your freshly prepared if you so solution and what freshly prepared a nano3 solution okay now here we will discuss what will happen after this beta say after this we have to add after this we have to add what yes here 
After this, beta, we have to add concentrated nitric acid. What beta? Concentrated nitric acid along the side of the test tube. Say, with the help of this dropper, with the help of this dropper, okay, we have to add what? Concentrated, these are what? Bulb. Concentrated sulfuric acid, we have to add along the side of the test tube. Then, if on the addition of this concentrated H2SO4, you will get what? A brown ring between the junction of two layers. What, Vida? Brown ring. Observed. Observed. Between. Between. The junction of. Two. Layers. Okay. Now we have to discuss the the reaction of. Okay. Okay. Now see here we will here discuss the reaction. Okay. So are you ready with this? So we can write here upside and reaction. Then you will come to know what actually is actual going on. Okay. So see here, beta. Okay. See, first we took what? Yes. First we took here Fe2 plus and this Fe2 plus from where we got? Putun mail aprela Fe so poor solution madun. Okay. Now we add what? NO3. Yes, we prepared separately NO, NaNO3 solution. And after adding this, Okay, 4H plus we added means what? Whatever concern is to support we added. Okay, these are what? Your reagents. And uh, you will get what? Like this product, NO plus. So it will oxidize your what? Your iron what? Oxidize Fe2 plus is converted into Fe3 plus. This thing you know better plus 2H2. These are what our reaction. Now after this, means uh, now we have to write the formula of this. Whatever brown ring here you are getting, that formula, brown ring complex. Okay. Say here, whatever your Fe3 plus, I am uh, rewriting this again. Fe3 plus plus this NO plus this H2. And now I am writing what the formula of Yes, formula of this brown ring. So as like this, Fe H2O5 NO2 plus. What beta? 2 plus. Say here. Whatever this. Parda, parda. Say. Okay. Whatever you got that is complex. So we can write the IUPC name also of this complex here. What beta? Yes. Penta aqua iron. Okay, sorry. Penta aqua thereafter what? Nitrosyl because it is another ligand. Penta aqua nitrosyl. Iron second iron second what beta second iron understood understood beta pentaqua nitrosyl iron second iron and it is a formula of what brown complex it is the formula of what beta yes this is the formula of your whatever we wrote it is about your brown complex. I hope you understood this all contained, what your today is contained. Okay. Uh, now uh, we have to take this carefully. Okay. So whatever next part, next part.
okay that is the chemistry of phosphorus and its compounds beta that we will discuss in next lecture so thank you very much and take care stay safe